Hello everyone, this video is going to go over conditional statements in, in MATLAB. It's also uh, a set of conditional statements that I used to calculate the temperature and pressure in the atmosphere in English units, which is an interesting set of units to do scientific things in. But uh, so first off, we normally start our scripts with clear all, close all, CLC, uh, clears the workspace, closes all open open windows, let's say open figures, and clears the command window. I'm going to set a counter I. Uh, I'm going to set S is is what I'm calling height above sea level. So this this is kind of the normal way I'll write a variable. I have the name of the variable. Um, in this script I'm using counters so the heights above sea levels are in terms of I and then the temperature and pressure in terms of I plus one because it was in an iterating loop. So uh, but this this isn't inside the loop at the moment. But it'll still run the way it is. It'll just the position of T will be will be zero um, zero two so we'll have a zero in the matrix this creates. But anyway, so the, we're going to set the height above sea level to be a thousand feet. And one way I like to, to write code is in terms of having all the equal signs line up, all the variables line up, and the semicolons line up, and then parentheses, and then units in terms of square brackets inside of the square brackets, and then the description of the variable after it. And it keeps all the variables straight in my mind when I write code. Some people like to compress the code is so it takes up as, as little room as possible. They try to fit it on one page, but I don't I don't try to do that. So main thing, conditional statements. So we're gonna use if, else if, and then we might just change this one to else. Um, basically to say if this happens, then do something. Else if this happens, where well, we're gonna be between two set points, then do something. Or if if this happens, do do something else, and then we we'll end our conditional our conditional statements, and then calculate the density using the values that we calculated in the conditional statement itself. So I'm going to say if the height above sea level s of i, so s of one, is less than or equal to 36,000 feet and change, we're in the troposphere, and we're going to calculate our temperature in terms of degrees Fahrenheit using this equation and the pressure in terms of pounds per foot squared in terms of this equation. Else if, if S sub i is greater than 36,000 feet and change, and S sub i is less than or equal to 82,000 and change, where we're going to be in the lower stratosphere and we're going to set the temperature equal to something and the pressure is going to be calculated using this equation. And then else, if S sub i is greater than 82,000 feet and change, we're going to be in the upper stratosphere and we're going to use these two equations to calculate our temperature and pressure. And we're going to end the conditional statement and we're going to say uh, rho is equal to this using the values that we calculated in one of these three locations. So a couple of things to note. I'm using a double end here. The old style scripts didn't need it, but if you uh, the new one seems to want a double end. So if you have let's say errors in your script, it'll usually highlight them in the newer versions will highlight them in orange and, and have a an underline here and give you the option to say use double and instead of and as the and operator and scalar conditional statements. Um, and then you can press the fix button and it'll do it for you. This one uh, wanted, they just wanted a semicolon for some reason. Not sure why. And then let's say we wanted to say if S of I was equal to 82,600, we would use a double equals. We could get rid of this uh, greater than sign and put double equals. And then we would oh, I guess they want a single equals in the new the new version. That's interesting. Okay, well you can put equals there and it'll it'll work. This is an older script. I wrote it a long time ago. I'm using 
MATLAB version, which version am I using? Uh, 2010B in this current form. So let's. So anyway, I was going to run this. If I run it, then I will get um, S of I is a thousand. If I look in my workspace, the density, temperature, and pressure are all here. There is that zero because um, all the values are in terms of I plus one in there. No location, but that's fine. Anyway, so this has been a general overview of how conditional statements work in MATLAB. We're basically just going to say if something happens, then do something. Uh, else, if something happens, then do something. And else, if something else happens, then do something else. And then end. And you don't necessarily have to use the else if or the else. You can just say if something happens, end. If something happens, do this, then end. And that's a simple form of the conditional statement. I hope you found this video useful and have a good day.